<laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a on the road live collaborative. What did he red pill what, time? What, what, what did he cafecito? What in the red pill? <laughs> cafecito. What, what time did he say? <laughs> <laughs> cafecito <laughs> pill. <laughs> cafecito pill said all the all, all the all the podcasts. What did he cafecito pill in the in the chingo verse? Absolutely. <laughs> we're in, we're in San Angelo right now. Yes, coming at you live from San Angelo. It's your boy Chingo Bling. We have Mrs. Bling. We have what's up? How we doing? How's it going? Step kid. We have. <laughs> Wow, that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. We have been here. Uh, I got. I, I'm on two ibuprofen and some you know coffee, and, and maybe too much coffee, maybe not enough coffee. I don't know what, what caused this headache. Maybe it was that dry as turkey. Yeah, I buy. I, I, yeah. I, I, I buy ibuprofen by the pound. Really? <laughs> These days, man. Yeah, yeah. With my, I had some. Oh, that's some right. swollen teeth. What are, you know, t- gum infections. So that's what they They can't give you narcotics anymore. So they're like, just take three ibuprofen and a Tylenol, and you know what? It works. It All at once, words. three plus three, one. Three plus one every Remember? six hours. That's, That's what they they had suggested me too. Because really? I didn't want to take the, the pain pills that they yeah. gave me after yeah. my surgery. So if you, if you don't like the, the opiates yeah. and all that, three three ibuprofen and a Tylenol, I'll look it up every this six hours. This isn't medical advice. No, not this medical is just advice. a suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting combination. Yeah. Three to one. Remember they gave that to me, Well, because they say that ibuprofen is just for uh, like inflammation, right? Is mainly what, what it'll treat. But the the Tylenol and all that is supposed to be for, is the pain relief part of it. Really? I did something like that too with uh, whenever I gave birth at home. Remember, it was like a Benadryl with the uh, ibuprofen, yeah. some shit like it's, that. It's a regimen. It's out there. It's documented. I'm not. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm not making up shit. Look, look into it. We Pinterest even it. has it. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> look into it. Just before you go on stage, yeah, <laughs> as they're calling before you, you go on stage, <laughs> crush three, three ibuprofen. <laughs> you crush it, crushed up, left nostril. You don't leave the room all day. You go eat some dry ass barbecue, maybe yeah. if anything. Unless I already you, know whose voice that is. Yeah. I Unless you're rolling with Juan, Juan's gonna be like, "Hey, bro, uh, I know it's I got early. this Celtic salt. Juan trying to keep us busy. <laughs> I know Juan's I like, hey, hey, man. Juan's like, hey, y'all want to go live and do a podcast? Maybe shoot a sketch. And man, and Theo <laughs> Hula <laughs> drops. <laughs> Theo Hula sketches and drops. So hey. You know, hey, that he sets the bar though. Shout out to Juan, man. He making sure like, well, hey, bro. Juan don't sleep. <laughs> I slept last Juan night. Sleep. Juan, Juan, how long have you been with us? Well, why Three did you years? sleep last night, Juan? Yeah, because they shots. gave me like six shots. It, it added up yeah. all of all of a sudden. It's the first all time of, in three years I've ever seen Juan. Sleep. All of a sudden, they were like, they were like, here, here's this one, and there was like, oh, there's also these other shots, and I was like, you were out. Oh, okay, you were cool. out in the back of the and time. Then, like, oh yeah, somewhere in there, we're waiting. Javier and, and I were the only. Javier, you're a night owl. Is that why you were able to stay? I in? can be. I'm. Yeah. I'm both. I keep one. I keep one foot in both worlds. I'm. I'm somehow simultaneously a night owl and a morning person oh, which wow. pisses my wife off to know at the him. same damn time at the same damn time if they would have told I, me i was driving i would have been like strict and been like okay i'm gonna need six c4s for the night oh right, my let's god get this done. Yeah. i'm talking in the let's morning make it work i wake up i put on some music my wife is not a morning person <laughs> so she hate what is morning though what is early to you like what time okay i'm not like a 4 35 okay I'm like 6 a.m Oh, oh shit. shit! That's still yeah. Six a.m. Uh, yeah, sometimes if I'm tired, I'll push. I'll push it to six thirty, but then I'm rushed. All right, so I get up at six so I can get myself ready, and then normally home during the week, I get I get my daughter ready because my wife's got to be somewhere. You got to be at work at a certain time. If anything, I'm subbing. I got a little more time to deal with, and plus it's easier for you know a man. You know. I, Damn, dude, those mics don't like you. That was still messed put on, up. Put on some. There you go. Like, some pants and like, I just and got a shirt. My hair out. Yeah, well, that that too. Okay, like, off it, well, the beard. You know up. what I'm saying? Hey, um, I don't do too much during, during the. You no, sounded like a real true mom right now. Yeah. yeah, like the ones that say, "I wake up an hour before my children so I can have some alone time." Got to drink my coffee and yeah. then like get myself together before. Uh, I yeah. cannot do that. Well, I when still my wife been able went to. back to school, she went back to school uh, two years ago to get her principal certificate. Mm-hmm. So I really, I mean, I was always an active dad, like like that. That was never in question, but. When she was working and going to school at the same time, like I really had to step into that, 
Mr. Mom role. Mm-hmm. And then once you do it, like it's just that's just what I Have do. It, so I'm yeah. like, no, like no, like I'll get it ready. I'll I'll do bath time. I'll do all like have, that's just the daily routine now. Have y'all had that moment yet as a parent, like where you have that imposter syndrome? Like holy shit, I'm a parent. Like dude, this is great. Like where you just like I gotta get this. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm trusted with a parent as a parent right now. I mean, what yeah. How does that? What do you mean? Like, like, you like, that like you're the parent now. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, yeah, like, no. Like, but oh, I do shit. think, like, yo, my life was infinitely simpler before we started over. Where it's like, yeah, things get way more complicated. Just logistically, get up and go. Yeah, I just turned forty, so I feel like I'm really sinking into my like. Dad, mo- the, the mic, this ain't going. I gotta hold yeah, it. Gonna, I gotta I hold so. it straight. Get some duct really? tape. Yeah, I guess there, so. okay. Yeah, I guess uh, so. There we go. I'll hold it in like that. Um, but but yeah, it's just reaching that age of like okay, like the, I got three kids. Like there's no, like I, I'm ready for I'm ready for the minivan or whatever. Like I don't care. Same. Like, I really it's want it's like okay, tank. like this is this is what we do, man. Gymnastics practice and and PTA meetings and school picnics and 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 that's cool. This it's 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 a nice different chapter in, in life compared to yeah. what it was. You know, fortunate to get to this level. Mm, yeah, you know. I feel kind of the same way. I waited a, such a long time to have kids. For him, it's a little bit different because he came into my world with a child already. I came into his world with a child already. I didn't have any, so part-time mom was great you yeah. know what i'm saying because i was like shit she's only here every other week yeah i can do this all day baby yeah. i was like um okay ain't no thing this is easy yeah. but then when the girls came and i realized like holy smokes yeah. this is like 24 7 wait i signed up for this like yeah. i i legit decided to do this after like, all I like got, i waited so long in my life yeah, but it's nice but y'all got to you see y'all got to have your your you got to have your 20s and young. i, I did yeah. i did both <laughs> I, I like my party phase or fun phase was fairly short lived because I started window. I started I had my first son at twenty three, uh, so I got to have college. College was my like okay time to go out mm-hmm. and drink and party and do all that, and then like almost like as soon as college was over, okay family mode go get a career go get a you know a, you know a job. That's when I was working for the state and all that, you know. So so that part the fun part for me is watching the the. the people that got started like super young like the teen parents <laughs> like that are now in their 40s and their kids are grown and like now they're having their like wild out and i'm just yeah. like, like 40s no and 20s. man like i just want to barbecue in the backyard yeah like, they're like no we want to go to the same let's go to drink downtown. yeah exactly like no nah, man i'm trying to like maybe like drink like two three beers put some steaks on yeah. the grill <laughs> like and let, y'all can come let over. the kids run around yeah. in the backyard yeah. we get a moon jump we got the yeah. you know i got 100. a moon I got a moon jump plug now. Shout out Mia's moon jumps. <laughs> <laughs> got to connect. You know, I got a moon jump plug. You know, that's the dad mode that that's I'm yeah. in. Now. I got to yeah. connect, you know, hooked, hooked up my daughter for her birthday. Yeah. You Make know, those you, calls. You know, bless. Like, yeah. I'm like, what's up? Let's get it. Hey, we got a water in the school. We have a barbecue. Got a water slide in the backyard for He's the like, kids. Yeah, put me, those, you, put those, me down for the, uh, yeah, the purple, the purple princess house. Yeah, the, the purple, <laughs> not the one with turquoise on it. The those are Hobby's Facebook posts. <laughs> yeah. like, hashtag bless. It's hashtag like a uh, bless. boom bounce in the background. <laughs> It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like an episode of Bluey. Yeah, man. Oh, I it's love like, Bluey though. It's like an episode of My, Bluey, and that's that's the blessing of, of being in a small market like Corpus. You yeah. know, is you get to know so many small business owners, and they show love like that. My, my wife's gotten so used. She goes, she, if anything goes down, she goes, do we do we do we got a guy? <laughs> we got a guy for this. We, we got a moon jump guy. You, come on, and you, then when gotta, you don't we, got a guy. She's like, What have you been doing you, out there? Yeah, what have you been doing? You, been doing you ever been we're, socializing? We're come on, you haven't been meeting up with the other moms? Come on, know, Javi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get with so, it. So get on get on your moon jump game. You know, get, if you ain't got a moon jump guy, what are you doing with your life? Really? Yeah, La Marisol, she she like oh, I got a charcuterie girl, a yeah, uh, my cupcake lady, I gotta, yeah, I got a, a cookie lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have cupcake. Who's who's willing to donate? Because you know what? Cupcake ladies right now. <laughs> my cupcake, my cupcake lady decided she was gonna open up a gift shop, so. You know she's doing that now. Yeah, but, yeah. But I have a, I have one for everything. Oh, don't yeah. worry about it. I got, I got this. Oh, who wants to donate for this? Or mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like, well, I got a cookie lady. 
I got a good cookie lady. I, I, my cookie lady, I don't know what happened to her, but yeah. then all of a sudden she's back now. So I don't know. Maybe there hopefully she's. Mm. I just need them. I just need them to be consistent. If you're not consistent, like you can't be a part of my little. If you want to be suggested. A she switched up ingredients, maybe. You maybe know, my market, suggested man. group. Now I got one that's really good, but she's high. She's like high in price. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. You catch them when they're young. It's like an artist, man. Yeah. Like, man, I'm like, man, I was following you when your tickets were twenty dollars. They don't know yeah. they're worth it. You know, when nobody there. You know, and now, 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 you, now. You, oh, now you're at the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> and the t- ticket's $150. It's like, you come on. You ain't doing mean greets no you more. You ain't doing no mean greets no more. <laughs> yep, for you real. Know, used to be front row. <laughs> and wasn't nobody there. I was there in your garage. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I know. That cookie lady, she's good. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to have to give her props because, like, her actual cookie is good. It's good. Does yeah. that make yeah, sense? Yeah, no, no. The cookie is same. Like, that cookie has cookie to be good. Your little good. decor can be fine. Same thing with cakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, same I, thing. I get it that it looks like a Louis Vuitton bag, but what if, if it ain't good? What's Yeah. Vuitton <laughs> if it ain't good. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. 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 My cake girl's right. good, too, humble. Yeah. yeah. My cake girl's good. You she goes, good she, yeah, I got a good cake girl. <laughs> Shout out to Happy Cakes and More. Oh, he's got a mac and cheese girl. That would, be, so that would be me. <laughs> Excuse me. That would be me. Excuse me. That would be me. is the mac and cheese plug. I am plug. the mac and cheese plug. Isn't that sad Damn. that that's the only thing I know how to make that's good? <laughs> hey, but that's, all, but that's all you That's all you need, man. And uh, then whenever you don't want to make just the mac and cheese, you make the little, what is it, the little fry balls? The little hey, fried uh, mac and cheese. I mean, mac and cheese makes a great food truck, in my opinion. Uh-oh. Well, look, I, I, I mean, it's look. the base of the mac, the, the mac and cheese. You ever tried to bacon sprinkles? Right. We have, yeah. I do it different ways. I've done it with... Uh, with cornflakes on top uh-huh. then you put butter and then you put it in the oven and then it's like the crisp on the top and then you know I mean uh-huh. it's just it goes hard what were you saying? no I was gonna say like uh, you know thankfully the comedy game is, is doing well uh, we got two shows tonight San Angelo can't complain you know we're going to a whole bunch of cities hit up the website chingobling.com but if y'all stop buying tickets and y'all stop showing up, I will have money sold on that truck. Slanging that mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese, mac and cheese balls. I made the one set the If y'all see sometime. us have a mac and cheese truck, y'all know why now. <laughs> well, because it's simple, right? Enough because you, you do the, once you do the cheese sauce and you do the pasta, then it's just about having different protein options. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. anything in the food, anything that can be prepped beforehand and then you're just brisket order this, together brisket chicken whatever whatever it is is this public or private public oh okay, okay so i'm not gonna say yeah. where but we went to this all mac and cheese place uh-huh. and i was so excited because i was like oh my god it's about to go down because it, i'm not gonna say no i can't say that no 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 come on woman. and uh <laughs> stir up some shit no, yeah and, and it damn, bad. it was okay. Yeah. Maybe because I'm used to m- it's because my hers mac and cheese. So fire, that's oh what it is. yeah, you know, and it's so mine is so creamy, mm-hmm. and that's I can't stand it. It can't be too dry. Like you yeah. gotta just know there, like the consistency it, it, was. You know what I'm saying. I mean, her particular recipe. Want that wet ass mac? <laughs> mm-hmm. That wham. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the truck. <laughs> that's, the name of the truck. <laughs> that's the name of the truck. Wet ass Mac. I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna be the new name, Hobby. I'm gonna get you uh, some credit. Bowl. Yeah, huh? Mac bowl. Yeah, yeah. Like bowl, that, order. that wet ass pasta. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a. Wop. That's that's the that's the girl's probably favorite thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to get, like super sizes, I can have sloppy, yeah. sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. You seconds. want that sloppy? Yeah. You want, you want it tossed up? You know what I'm saying? We get another soup. <laughs> yeah, tell to you. No, I don't know. I'm trying to see. Maybe, or maybe you're dehydrated water. It's a whack with a toss salad. Oh, nasty. Whack. But it's funny. Like the first Would time you like I met around the world. Yeah. Around the world. <laughs> so how I got these recipes was I used to work with this lady. I don't know if I told the story before, but if I haven't, y'all. If I have, y'all about to hear it again. So I used to work with this lady, and she had just had a gastric bypass surgery, right? And so you know. I had just graduated college. I was trying to get back into shape because I had gained so much weight. So she'd see me come with all these like healthy meals. And she said, man, she's like, why don't you give me some of your recipes? I said, well, you know what? I actually want to cook for Thanksgiving this year. Why don't you give me some of your recipes? And she says, for real? I said, dead serious. So I traded her my healthy, not so delicious recipes for her mac and cheese um mac i'm, I'm sorry uh green, green bean casserole um broccoli and cheese casserole and um stuffing 
the yeah. stuff and I wasn't able to master though. It was still too dry. I missed it. I think I just missed it. But you everything more practice. Everything else was decent. And um so I took it over to my family's house, right? Because that was going to be my job. I said, hey, y'all, I'm bringing all the sides this year. They're like, oh, okay. So I did. Yeah. And then my Uncle Marvin said, who made this mac and cheese? Bro, I wouldn't dare raise my hand. I said, hell no, I'm not saying I made not this shit. And, and they're like, who it. made this mac and cheese? Whoever made this mac and cheese, I know they got it from some kind of soul food restaurant. Uh, and I was like... Uh, do I say I said it was me, Uncle Marv? He's like, I knew it, I knew it, cause can't no Mexican make this mac and cheese. Isn't that crazy? Cause Ms. he thought Ms. you wouldn't bought it. He thought, thought I wouldn't bought it. it. He yeah, bought the mac um, and he thought I bought it. He's like, Mexicans he's don't like, make mac and he's cheese. Like, Mexicans like this. think it's all about the really cheese. Don't. It's about the creaminess with the cheese that and he holds like, up. It was that, crazy that, that, that he knew, it though. It ties it together. It's not all about just the cheese. About the and I told my uncle, I said, what's the difference between <laughs> Mexican cheese stand che out. Like mac and cheese <laughs> and uh -huh. soul food mac and cheese? Like, oh, whole difference. It's like, y'all don't even put enough cheese. It's just like the box. Yeah. It's like my liver. It felt it. Like, I could feel it. Like, I felt the difference. That's what yeah. my gallbladder did. And so now, Which, I'm was, the mac and cheese person. Every second, I was like, ooh. Was like, like, oh. oh, who's bringing mac and cheese? My gallbladder had a little tingle. <laughs> but you like it with the bread topping. You said you did the So, topping. he <laughs> likes it. He likes you bread. Like the girls the do topping? not. The, he likes it. So, I've used Ritz crackers uh -huh. before on top. And then I've used, like I said, the cornflakes. Yeah. I crumble I don't normally eat healthy, but do you ever do it? Like just during the year, oh yeah, at home like I make a, it for the a, girls all the time. Oh, it's it's just by one itself, of their meals. Or do you make it like a casserole, like you put like no, I make it by itself because it? they don't like the crumbs on top. Uh -huh. So dad has to get his own. But his you don't own you don't put like some chicken in there or something like make it like a mm, more like no. a casserole or anything mm -mm. like that. No, like a side. it's more like a, a side, side. Yeah. A side on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, they don't like anything uh -huh. in it. I tried putting uh -huh. bacon, and Penny's like, "Why would you put bacon and mac and cheese?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" I'm just a mac and cheese fan. I I, I even like bad mac and cheese. Like I don't oh, even care. Like, like like box like craft whatever like uh, Velveeta shells. I'll, I'll tear up some Velveeta shells. I've never had the Velveeta like, shells, but I do use the Velveeta yeah. cheese. Dude, when I was in <laughs> when I was in college, about half this stomach right here is Velveeta shells. In college, I was eating a box of Velveeta shells and, and two cans of tuna. Like, I just mix that shit in there. Oh, that's kind of good. That sounds kind of good, though. That's some bodybuilder shit. Damn. And I would eat the hell out of that. So that's about like, that's like, <laughs> like that. Right here, right here. This quadrant. This quadrant right here. It's all this loin. <laughs> yeah. It's a loin right here. Yeah. But shit, I wish I knew how to cook more, like more stuff. I don't. I don't even know how to cook healthy stuff. I, I love mac and cheese so much. Uh, I, I did a, a summer program up at Notre Dame in Indiana, and back there the the dining hall was like a was an all you can eat like Golden Corral situation. It was dope. Like, oh wow! Like so, we got two meals at that dining hall every day. So you that was your time to like load up and, and 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 eat. You know what I'm saying? And if I need, if it's better, yeah, this is okay. So so we would so so we would go in there, right? I and they didn't have so they didn't have no macaroni and cheese. Like they had every, they had an Italian section. They had like they had some like sliced turkey stuff, whatever, and they had like a Mexican fiesta with some taco shells and whatever. So I went over to the Italian section, and I got some of the pasta that they had there. Went to, the Mexican. Some went to the Mexican section. Got the nacho cheese, and then I'd go over to the American section. I get me some sliced sausage, and I throw throw the sausage in there, make me a little sausage mac and cheese. By the time to that summer, they had mac and cheese. Ah, they saw me doing it. Like, that's funny. Like, the first time I went up, the cashier was like, "When did we have mac and cheese? <laughs> which which quadrant was that? Which quadrant was all that? Yeah. That was this summer. This <laughs> like, like I had to do that was my creation right there, man. By any means necessary, I'm gonna find me some mac Influence. and cheese. Okay, that's what I call. So I tell him like this is Innovative you're not a real right fat there. boy because sometimes I'll do shit and he's like what is this, this is a fat girl meal like uh -huh. really you got to know that's a real fat girl oh, meal there's, for there's sure something in that kitchen there's always something yeah. in that kitchen to eat that what did I make that one day you were like what is that like, oh, or she goes like girl. are you pregnant again that, <laughs> he's that, like oh that, man hold that, up that's that fat kid in the <laughs> yeah. or, or stoner you know yeah mm. or, yeah. You know. yeah I'm a I'm a crunchy. For stoner, crunchy texture. I took like crunchy, so I like uh, I eat a bunch of almonds. <laughs> I had to, I had to. If you're gonna do those those late night sashes, 
if, if not, it's a recipe for disaster. You yep. gotta have. I, I do cucumbers on on. Ooh, on, with tahini. On deck, yeah, yes. with some tahini, cucumbers, tomatoes, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. For uh, travel wise, like what you just reminded me of something you said. If you're not like prepared, you know, like mm-hmm. travel wise, I feel like we gotta start making sure we have like trail mix, beef jerky, like almonds, just because sometimes it's a uh, it's like you just need a little snack to hold sometimes you over, and you end up. Eating Cheetos, yeah. you know, because that's all they we have. Cheetos last week. Well, that's why I bought at the, those at the, at the venue. Yeah, I hadn't had yeah. Cheetos in a while, and yeah. I ate two bags yesterday. You forgot like, how good they bags. were, huh? Yeah, yeah. and they had Shit. a bag, and the then day. you end up at IHOP, and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And everything comes with pancakes. <laughs> everything comes with pancakes. I ordered a water. Okay, you want the pancakes? <laughs> like, like, you want the double order, stack? You want a double stack? You want three stack, uh, yeah. pancakes? And, and you could say, and I know, like before someone gets on here, well, you could you could ask for substitution. Yeah. Uh, come on, man. You realistically, <laughs> realistically, <laughs> national house. You can so offer it. You can you can take it. It's like you know, I mean, it's in the name. I mean, I hop. I'm gonna do a little toot every now and then if it's offered to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. <laughs> You know, you if, know, if it's free, it's three. You for know, me. if it's all, it's, if it's, it would be rude to turn it down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it would be rude. I, you know, it'd be disrespectful. It'd be disrespectful, it'd be disrespectful to IHOP. A pancake, international, and I'm international gonna turn down the pancakes. Pancake. Come on, man. Like, hey, so speaking of that beef jerky, I did this market the other day, right? And this, um, it's a little high school, all boy uh-huh. high school, and um, they're like, hey, so this boy here. You might want to check out his beef jerky. It's like, it sells out every time. I was like, huh? word? I was like, okay. So I'm like, all right, let me go over there before he sells out. I got me a habanero, mm-hmm. a teriyaki, and the regular. I'm, I'm buying them. Well, that shit was good. On the way home, I didn't bring I didn't bring no food with me. So on the mm-hmm. way home, I ate that. So then I'm like, damn, I got to get there early tomorrow because I'm going to buy some more of this teriyaki one. Yeah. So I'm in line. I'm telling him, like, it's this little high school boy. He's a senior. He's real proud about his jerky. You know, it's called Max's Beef Jerky, okay? That's his name, Max. And it's a little kid. It's a, yeah, he's a, he's a senior. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, he graduates this year because everybody's disappointed that Max's beef jerky is not going to be there next year oh. for the market. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, so he's there. I'm in line. And this guy's like, he gives you taste samples. And then he's like, wow, this is really good. You know, it tastes good. Wow, this is really good, too. It's like, man, you, you've really mastered it. He's like, yeah. He's like, so where do you get your beef from? And it, and I told Peter, I was like, if there was that noise, that, that sound of a dun, 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 he, it needed to be played because he goes, um... He didn't know what to say, and he says, well, I'm not going to lie. There's a little secret. He's like, I get my meat from Costco, but it's good meat, sir. It's good meat. He's real respectful, real country. Mm-hmm. Like what I have. It's good meat, sir. It's good meat. It's grass-fed. He's like, but you know, I still do it. It's, my, it's, my, it's still my recipe. And so it was so funny. I told him, I said, dang, they done caught this little boy out. He couldn't wow. even say I get my meat from so-so's rancher. rancher I'm, I mean, you yeah, know? I'm not trying to, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you you know someone in, uh, we know someone in the beef jerky yeah I I recently uh, apparently like that's like a heavily regulated like field like as far oh, as no like, shit. what you can call like and where you can sell because I guess because of the source of the meat or whatever like just to have a a, a jerky brand is like no yeah, kidding like, you can't sell it if it's sourced depending on like you have to get permission to sell it across state lines because you're taking like beef from one source to it's like a distribution to to issue state. right yeah it's a distribution issue that's, what? that's uh, happens with like alcohol like like alcohol like a big one with distribution i, I didn't know jerky was one too yeah Shit. apparently it's like, yeah yeah because i have a friend that has a white label situation that he sells uh, as as merchandise and he was telling me he goes yeah the the guy that i was getting it from wants me like wants to phase me out of like selling it because he's trying to get his like Cross state line oh. permission to sell, so he's got like he's got to show that he hasn't had any. You well, know, we finna figure it out because we got bonus or whatever. I don't know what what, what the 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 reason for concern why they're so close on it, but I'd I'd be interested to talk to somebody that's that's kind of mm-hmm. done that. Maybe you know we got a whole bunch of beef in the freezer, so, so he's gonna try it. So yeah. um, I'm are you gonna try it? it. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, just because I mean we got a whole freezer full of beef, so it's kind of like. You know what else I looked into? Mm-hmm. <coughs> beef liver in the capsules. Because cause we, I think, we, yeah, we got beef liver too. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. supposedly it's like hella high in like nutritious value. Like sub- yeah, allegedly, liver. right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, look at the liver king, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah all, the organ, all, the, all the organs are supposed to be good for you. 
Yeah, so, but, you know, I mean, if you don't know how to cook it real good, if it right. don't taste good. Well, that's the thing. The be- Like anything, the best way to cook it, like, when I ever ate liver as a kid growing up, it was always breaded like a chicken fried steak. That's a, you know, and smothered in some gravy. It's mm. like, oh, okay, that kind Onions of defeats. Onions yeah, yeah, mushrooms yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't do mm. it. No, I like it. I dig it. My, my, uh, my grandma used to do heart, beef heart. Mm. I have some of that in the freezer too. But she'd make it like a she'd make it like a carne guisada almost. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I remember the first time my grandma made liver with the onions and the whole nine and I'm like, "Ooh, that shit looks good." I just like it. Oh, speaking of or the yeah. lengua, the head, the head, they need to make it barbacoa. My brother-in-law has it. Okay. So we need to get together and tell them like, "Hey, bro." Yeah. Maybe for Easter. That'd be good to have for you Easter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, get out there with the shovel. Yep. Well, I, I, I think he's, he might do it in the pit. In the pit, yeah, like yeah, no one does anymore. But I would like to do it just, just <coughs> one time for, yeah. for fun. For fun. It's if, a lot if, of anyone, work, if, anyone, if anyone has has one of them, invite me out. I'll go help. My cousin, my cousin did, did one he of does those. It? He, he like yeah, put it in the hole, hole put it in the yeah, thing. you cover it, it up for a little bit that. and then get it back out later yeah. and put it. I've never, I've never gotten later. to witness it. I have in I Mexico. Understand. Yeah, me yeah. too. I mean, that's I'm, like I'm, I'm rancho twice removed. Like my dad, my dad grew up like that, but like he, I got, I got him when he was already like moved to the city and got. <laughs> Regular ass job. He wasn't organized though. Like he would he, talk he, about it. See, my my cousin wasn't organized. Like he yeah. was digging the hole as we were getting there, and then he's like, "All right, we could cut down this tree. We're gonna cut up this bark, and we're gonna put it." And I'm like, "We're, we're nice cutting not trees now? at all, man." Yeah, yeah, I was like, "We gotta cut like up the whatever. tree." I went to like he would I, take I came me out to as eat. a kid. Like he exposed me to it a little by little, just to see it. Like he he's like, "Hey, come come on, we're going to my friends. They're killing they're killing a pig or whatever, so you can see." Oh my know, god, what that looks like and experience that or like. Hey, like you know, my 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 friend's horse is you know gonna have a, have a have a baby, you know, I can come see that kind of stuff, and you, you know, but but other than that, but I didn't grow up rancho style. Yeah, just he exposed me to, to enough of it where it's like oh, okay, like that's. Cool. <coughs> I saw the the uh, cooking it in the canvas sack in the hole in Mississippi. You, oh, you got to mm-hmm. see that? Yeah, I'm like yeah, boom. Yeah, I would love to witness that. I saw the pig roasting thing, and as much as I love pork, when I saw it getting roasted, I just couldn't do it. Like my yeah. friend, uh, my friend's mom, they love to cook, and so um, oh, I, I can do some good ass pulled pork though. I forgot oh, about that recipe. Yeah, I do, I do, do, recipe. I do, do have a do a good you pulled do pork do. recipe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to invite you to cook off. Diddy, 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 and. Um, the mom, they love to cook. That's where mm-hmm. I got the recipe from. And so she um, was, she's got a new roaster. She's like, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to roast this pig for my birthday because I just got the new roaster. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, you I'm going to roast this pig right yeah, now. Exactly. You so fat, yeah. pig. <laughs> and so I'm like, cool, let's have it. And so I'm sitting there and I'm just like, Wait, and they got another thing. y'all left everything. Like I don't want to see his eyes and the mouth with an why, apple. Why man. is he smiling? Like, no, 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 no. I couldn't even eat it. Yeah, I couldn't. Man. It's just it was that was too much. I'm gonna need you to kill it first and then go ahead and serve it to me. Like I just don't want yeah. it. When Hawaii, We're okay, we seen the hunks. Yeah, in Hawaii they put separated. it underground. Yeah, yeah, we saw it. We, we had it. I just don't want to see it. Just yeah. don't. I don't want to see it. You know, I just want to eat it. That's it. I just want it already in a Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a exactly. Bread, a little slice. I just want to see it with parsley on it. That's <laughs> it. Is that for everything, or is that just a pig? Like <laughs> no, a that's I, when I cook ground beef. Yeah, yeah, I can I can do it, but I just don't want to see it. But I don't want to see the cabrito. Yeah, I don't want to see it. Yeah, no, I don't want to see it either. You want to see it all, yeah, see it all legs, together? What, all tight what about maybe having them in the window? Yeah. What, what about fish? Can you do the? Oh, I don't care about fish. The, and that's fucked up, right? Yeah, I know that's fucked up. Stab in the eye. <laughs> fish, I don't care. Well, because growing up, we would go fishing and we would help my dad clean the fish. Yeah. And he would, you know, like. We tried going fishing this, this uh, like, oh, spring what, break. A, a week yeah. ago oh. at Galveston, but it was so rainy and windy. Fishy. And I was so full because we had burgers right before. So I just wanted to, like, walk to the water like where uh-huh. the girls were and like walk back to the truck like i was just trying to yeah. like walk off this damn burger god bless fishermen man that's one of those things you got to be in love with the journey more than the destination man because you could be out there all day and not, and not catch but you know what a I, damn thing i mean i guess if you're good yeah you, you but also i think it's just the 
because I told my sister, I was like, she well, goes to this little spot, right? Mm-hmm. And there's not really a lot of people there. So I told my sister, I said, oh, see, I would I would just come out here and sit and watch you fish. Or so, and I'd read the book. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's just like, it's, it's so relaxing. And there's no noise, no nothing. And it was just really nice. And the girls were just like so entertained. Just right? get, anytime you can like get out of the city a little bit. It was just it was just really nice. Yeah, I told her I said I want to come back and do this. It's a thinking man sport for you know? sure. Like, yeah, yeah, that or just drunk. Your people that, then there's people that just go out there. We used to do it with my dad. Drink. We'd get up at four in the morning. He'd be like, "Come on," because yeah. you know my mom was a hairdresser, is a hairdresser, and she worked on the weekends. You know, those are her busiest days. So my yeah. dad wanted to go fishing, so he didn't have a choice. He was the one taking care of us. So it's like, get up, we gotta go, and we'd be like early as hell out there. Up, yeah, like going fishing with him because we, I mean, he have no boys. Yeah. He had us. Well, you know? in Corpus, I mean, Corpus, yeah. it's, it's a big Fisher, fishing yeah. town. Everyone, everyone <clears> fishing, <throat> and it's because the water's right there, and and the piers are right there. So it didn't matter if you didn't have a boat or nothing. Yeah, you know, there's always something you can fish off. Go to the jetties, go to the pier, which is at the bayfront, just right off the off the bayfront. I'm be honest, I like waking up fish. super early. Like if I get enough sleep, like if, if I go to sleep early the night before, and then I wake up like at four wake or three o'clock, go. bro. You see, in Corpus, anything in the morning is great because there's no traffic or nothing. Night fishing. Same was yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like you're heading out at eleven o'clock midnight out We've there. Done that too. Cold front of the year. Have you ever put you know love, the light and all the little fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you got the someone it. got the spotlight yeah. out yeah. there shining it. We and we just got a badass new pier right there in the in the bay there at Cole Park. It's super nice. They it it got messed up during the storm and they rebuilt it out and, oh, and it's a nice know. free public girls. public pier. You know out there fishing. Yeah, well, we're out there in Galveston. <clears throat> the man that was fishing right next to us, he's like, "You ain't gonna fish, man." I was like, "Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm just gonna." Uh, I didn't like even give him an answer. I was yeah. just like, "No, I'm just." Uh, like he probably thought like he don't speak English. <laughs> and I just like well, pointed. So much. If you, I just if pointed you don't at my go around. regularly, right? Just to invest in all the dude. I was too full. All the gear yeah, and, and the tackle, and I got the ice chairs out here. Well, my sister was nice enough yeah. to buy us a reel. She was really excited That's about what I'm taking saying. us if you're out. Going with somebody yeah. that already has the stuff. Yeah. You're just like not sure about it. You almost need to get some. You need to get a sponsor. You need to get a guy. Like, someone to take yeah. you out. Like that has all the stuff already. It has that has the little pliers yeah. and has everything. Cause that, if you're just like, oh, I'm gonna try it out, yeah, like, that's a lot, a lot of money to go out there and yeah. buy yourself. Yeah, and yeah. and I'm I'm not gonna lie, like for this place being like allegedly, oh, it's not that many people there. Yeah. I mean, there was still like like that family that was there fishing, like they all had cast to their line mm-hmm. so they tangle at one point they tangle and then the girl and then you mm-hmm. try to walk over there where the girls are by the water and you notice that oh shit the. The, the thread thing, you know, mm-hmm. what I mean, the line is right here. Yeah. So it's kind of like, like you like robbing a museum. Like you <laughs> my sister uh, said, what like, was, what was that movie? Mission Impossible or something? Mission no, Impossible? No, or the Ocean's Ocean's Eleven. 11? Oh, tell, tell, tell. It, that was in tra- uh, the one with uh, Catherine Zeta Jones. She does the little. Yeah, I can't think of the movie. Yeah, yeah I know she, what you're talking she, about. I, I, but I, I, I remember like, that movie. I was like though. 12 years old, man. That scene was. Yeah. <laughs> she, she had a little booty going up. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> how is she <laughs> doing that? How was, is that even possible? 12 years old. I Wait was a minute. Like, rewind it. Old. Rewind it. I was rewind. <laughs> Wait, play that back. Play that back. Rewind. Okay. Javi was like, I wish I was that. The tape is just run thin right there, just on that part. I was like, I wish I was that laser right there. I just you know. <laughs> yeah fish is cool though I'm, I, I told my sister I said I want to come back I said let's go back I said I just want to sit here and like because I forgot but see she continued it, yeah. and I let her uh, my dad had reels like expensive ones but they're so old because there's so many new ones now yeah. so my sister's like damn so my dad has one that can catch sharks and so um, <laughs> damn. yeah so he damn. my sister's like you know what I'm dad no soft hands she right. <laughs> 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 daddy, daddy was catching sharks. Yeah, these right here hold microphones. <laughs> Soft hands. You gotta have the right grip for the microphone grip. All right, y'all don't know about that. Yeah. So then he, she was like, "Damn, Dad, you see that reel that man has right there? Dad has one. He's like, but Dad's is so old, I can't find the parts to it anymore." She's like, so I don't know what to do. Mm. And I was like, why don't you take it to somebody that like mm-hmm. does that? And I said that way you can still use yep. it, you know. And so she's trying to like break her brain, like trying to figure out if she wants to do it or if she just wants to keep it like kind of as her, 
you know, like her like a memory, decor. Yeah, yeah. Is, I'm you know, surprised she dad. don't have it up like in her house. I know. Yeah, I like told it her. Mounted almost, yeah, right? I told her because she loves the the water theme. That's her theme in her house. She oh, doesn't cool. have a beach house, but that's theme? her. The nautical yeah. theme is her her jam. So. Yeah, because when so. she lived in Boston, she was always like hiking and Maine. fishing yeah. and yeah. one of Vermont. You know, I mean, yeah, my mother in law. My mother in law so extra like that. She she just built herself a a a, a new house. And it's just her. So she so they're all like guest rooms. Pretty much, but she she gave each guest a room a theme. Ooh! Goes, oh, that's the coastal room. This the Oriental room. <laughs> and she says, she goes, "Is it still okay to say Oriental?" I'm like, yeah, when you're talking about a rug, <laughs> like, you can't, you, as long as you're not putting it to a person, like, I think you're good. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious! Hey, that's so funny. It's like the political climate, right? Yeah. It's like, is it? This is the. Um, <clears throat> Can you say Asiatic? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like in, in real estate now. You can't say master bedroom. You have to say oh, man, you have to say on. primary. No. Yes, you have to say primary. Really? You have to say primary room. Problematic language because the master bedroom supposedly it, it that's from like slavery connotes. days. That's why we don't say oh, Angel Mima no more. We say Sarah. Really? <laughs> yes. So that was the master's bedroom. Okay, so you can't have a master key. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. You have you, to say the main key. Never mind. It's a panic podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a public episode. We there can't you own your master. This is this is this is, a master, this is primary basin over here. Yeah, but remember the, the CD. Remember the CD towers, the CD burners. The top is the master, and the, the bottoms are slaves. Yeah. Okay. That's what they call them. But you can't say master bedroom. But you can say uh, what's what's the, what's the word a real estate word? Uh, what do they call it? The the mother in law. Mother in law. Mother in law suite. Yeah. Okay, but that that's okay. That's okay. The, that's the right. room in the back of the house. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's the mother-in-law suite the back, add-on. back there. Right. That's um, the add-on. We host um, at the store. We host like networking uh-huh. events, and a lot of them are real estate. Uh-huh. And so, like, we all take turns, kind of like hosting these people there. And so, they were talking. I don't know what they said. And so she said, "You know, um, this house has a primary room." And I said, well, what's a, what's a primary room? I didn't know what a primary room yeah, was, right? Room. And she's like, oh, it's the master bedroom. Yeah. I said, well, why, don't, why is it called a primary room? What's different now? I thought maybe they, like new houses is maybe have primary? like a something, you know, that I didn't know about. Because I mean, we don't have a, I mean, our house she's is new, or, but it's not or, that new. Or, or back when, I'm so glad, this doesn't, I don't see this as much anymore. Back when, they, when people were building houses with, with two living rooms. A formal and, yeah, yeah. and family like, room. What? Yes. Uh, what is, oh, this is the family room. This yeah. Living room? No, no, that's the living room. Yeah, place. I know. It's like, okay. The triple wide. So uh, triple that's wide what we chairs. have in our house. Oh, yeah. We have, it was a formal dining room, right? What? Where, what, what I turned into a living dining. room. Oh, you turned it into like a. <laughs> so this was their formal dining area, yeah. right? And that's where it was supposed to be. And then there was a, like another little nook where you have, can have like a breakfast mm-hmm. area. So I was like, who does a, f- I, I'm not, I don't have all these formal, you know what yeah, I'm saying, like formal, dinings. Formal Where you gonna put the high chairs? So just, yeah, I, I like, to make it a game room. So or something, or something else. I turned the formal. living room yeah. into the girls' living room, and then there the front go. one is supposed to be the adult living room, but we don't even it's sit. About there. to be our merch room. Yeah, yeah there you go. That's so true. we don't need, we don't even we don't even sit there. But my mom gifted us brand new couches as our home warming gift. You should have said like, look, we don't know if we got to put shelves in here. So I was like, damn, what do I do with these? I'm not getting rid of them. They're badass. Come on now. They're badass couches, though. They're the really room. comfortable. Yeah, they're super comfortable. They're really comfortable. You can fall asleep. I want a TV them. in there. Just I want, like, I'm tired of always, like, sitting in toys and, like, mm. having to watch what they want to watch. Like, we can't ever mm. watch what, what we want to watch. <clears throat> well, yeah. Hey, guys, uh, we have two <laughs> shows. <laughs> no, <laughs> what a great segue. Like, like, she was like, I'm trying to promote no. these shows. I don't know I, no, I'm trying to take this yeah, talent uh, off. Yeah. I'm trying to take this talent off, but he, yeah. I mean, we did already hit our mark. Okay. Uh, but but don't want to cut it off in a weird place. <laughs> how do we transition? How do we transition? It's been transitioned, yeah. Anyway, just recap. Well, it's because like, eight Look, minutes man, ago, he was like, This Tylenol, hey, man, this Tylenol been kicking in. Recap, get you a cookie plug. <laughs> all right, stop calling it a master bedroom. That ain't cool. It's, it's, okay, it's to okay to call right. a, a room an oriental room. Make sure the mac and cheese is wet, extra wet, extra wet, it's sloppy wet. wet. It's a, it's a wham in a pot. There you go. And with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, 
Find your tickets online. <laughs> Jesus. Your tickets online. We're all over the place. Well, They're coming up. I mean, I was about to go into try, that try, spiel, but I said, let me, let, let me take a breather and let him say it. So I don't catch a left hook yeah. over here. But thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Javi, man, tell them where they can find you, bro. Where they can oh, follow Javi you. Luna Comedy on everything, all social media, Luniversal Comedy on YouTube. Check out the special. He has new merch up, too. Everybody. New merch out now. So New merch alert. Uh, I'm just at uh, MarisolHerrera.com, and that'll take you also to my merch. That'll take you to all my stuff. Come visit her it. shop in, if you're in Houston area. And come visit. Yes, come look, visit me hive. at 2431 Rice Boulevard, the Hive Pop Up Collective, next to Brioche Cafe. And uh, I'm on tour, so hit it up. Chingobling.com. Hope to see you in a city near you. Das, y'all be good. Bye.